Amanda, can you believe it's been a year since the takeover? What are your memories of that day and everything that's happened since? Oh, it's what an incredible year it, it's been. We're just so proud of how far we've all come together as, as a club and as a community and, 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 you know, the incredible support of the fans that we've had. I think when we took over, we were in 90th position, um, probably most likely to be relegated uh, and look at, at where we've come uh, through this year. Uh, I, re I remember just following the takeover announced to going, walking out and and just meeting all the incredible fans that have been patiently waiting. And by the time I'd actually done all my media interviews, I, I didn't even get the chance to go over up to St James's Park and see the incredible atmosphere. But it, it was just a remarkable day. It really was very special. The fans have, have been incredible. They are everything as far as we're concerned. I remember the first time we came to, to St James's and we were bowled over by, by, by the supporters there. It was an incredible experience. So they are part of this journey with us uh, and uh, we hope that they continue to support us. We're a family, that's how we look at it. With the recent appointment of Darren Eales, what role will you now play in the club? Well, first of all, I want to just say how excited we are to secure Darren to, to come alongside and work with us as, as our chief executive. He's just got an incredible track record of running clubs and, and growing football clubs in particular. So this was a great appointment. Um, obviously, I have my um, duties as a board member uh, led by Yasser Ramehan. Uh, and, and the board is there to develop the uh, strategy and the, and the growth of the club. Uh, it's Newcastle United, it's the most special club in the world, and my dad and I will work alongside Darren and Dan and our head coach, uh, Eddie Howe, uh, to make sure that the club you know, is, is, is progressing and, and going forward. The community is so important to us. It's part of the fabric uh, of, of what Newcastle is. Newcastle is, is part of the fabric of, 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 the, of the city. Uh, it's, in, it's, you know, I, I remember uh, fans referring to it as the cathedral at the top of the hill, and that, that is so true. Everybody kind of worships the club, and it's important to have that uh, connectivity with the city, and we're doing that by our discussions with the council, and we shall continue to have our talks with them and, uh, and do as much as we can uh, in Newcastle as a city, not only the club, but as a city as well. And the foundation, that's just another inc inc incredible part of the city and part of the club. The foundation has been a, a, an example of how to do things right. They are really fantastic, uh, and we hope to develop that relationship and make them even more successful. I'm so proud of, of our women's team. Uh, it was obviously, I'm a huge advocate of women in sport and women in, in football in particular. I wanted very much to play as a young, a young girl and didn't have a pathway and making sure and ensuring that there are uh, the right pathways in the northeast of England for girls to come and join us is critical. Uh, where do we want our women's team to go to the top? We're going to invest um, uh, and they have the same opportunity as the, as the men. And we really want to make sure that that investment makes sure and ensures that they get the chance to, uh, to um, play at the very top of the league uh, and uh, in top of the, super, the Women's Super League. Just generally, I mean, seeing the excitement um, of the fans, uh, you know, we had nearly 23,000 visitors to St James's Park. That was such an incredible experience. And we really want to thank all of the community for helping us reach those incredible numbers. But we're just so uh, excited about the opportunity for Newcastle women. And it's just amazing. I'd like to really take the opportunity to thank everybody and, and our fans for giving us the opportunity to help grow this brilliant club. Um, it's been a very humbling experience, as I said at the beginning, and, and uh, our shareholders, the support that we've had from PIF, from the Ruben family and from the fans has been extraordinary. And Murdad and I just love what we do day to day and we love being amongst the community. The success we've had over the last 12 months has been incredible, but we've worked as a family, we've worked as a team. Everyone is kind of rowing in the same direction. Which, which is just wonderful to watch. So we look forward to the next 12 months and to the next five years and to the next 10 years. And hopefully we'll be having a lot more success ahead of us.